In this video, I'm going to show you how to resize video for any social media platform, then how to adjust the crop and layout to your video's new aspect ratio, and then how to cut, trim, add text, and add images to that video. Now to get started, head over to v.io and click on upload your video. If you don't already have a video, you can click record. Otherwise, click on upload a file, select a document, and then click on open. After that, your video will now be imported into V's video editor. And the first thing we're going to do is name our video project. Now we can see that our video is in the timeline and we can also see that we have our video on the video canvas and it has the 9 by 16 aspect ratio. Let's take a look if I click play. As you can see, a quick video of me skateboarding. So to resize this video, it's very simple. We just want to make sure that we're in the settings tab in the left toolbar and under the size menu, we can click on this drop down menu. And here we have a bunch of different preset aspect ratios for different social media platforms. If I want to post this to Instagram as a square post, I can choose the square one by one aspect ratio. If I want to change this video and resize it for YouTube, so it has the 16 by nine aspect ratio, I select YouTube and change it to the 16 by nine aspect ratio. As you can see in the drop-down menu, we've got a bunch more different ones for different social media platforms. Now, I want to post this to Instagram, so I'm gonna make it a square video and I change it to the one by one aspect ratio. So I click square, and as you can see, we now have our square video, which is the one by one aspect ratio in the video canvas. Now that you've resized it, I'm gonna show you how you can adjust the crop and layout of your video so it fits the square one by one aspect ratio. It's very simple to do. All I'm gonna do is click on my video, and then these little handles will appear on the side, and I'm just gonna click and drag to change it to fit the aspect ratio. I can also resize it by clicking on these dots in the corners, make it the shape and size I want, and I can also rotate it. So if I want it to be a little bit slanted, just like so, I can click and drag and do so. To make things simple, if I click on the video, I can also go under the transformation section and just click fill the canvas or fit the canvas. Now, if I only want to rotate a specific section of the video, all I have to do is cut out the section that I want to apply that rotation to. To do this, place the playhead in the timeline where we want to make a cut, click on split, and then again, place the playhead in the second place where we want to make the cut and click on split. Now we have this middle clip, we select it and we can rotate this clip individually. So now if you take a look and press play, there is only a specific section of our video that has been rotated. On top of this, we can also do things such as add text. To do so, we just click on the text tab in the left toolbar, and now we can select a preset layout of text or just click regular text to add some text. Type in the text we want. We can change the font, the size, the color, and more. And then we can also click and drag it in the timeline to move it around and then click and drag the handles on either extremity of the text to change the timing and duration. And then we can do the same thing again with images. And to add images, we just have to click upload in the left toolbar bar, select upload image and repeat the process. Once I'm happy with my newly resized video, all I have to do is click on export in the top right. And because I'm posting this to Instagram, I'm going to adjust my export settings. Here we have some preset export settings. If I click in the drop down menu, I'm going to scroll down all the way to Instagram, click on Instagram. And this means that Veed will then use Instagram's recommended settings to render our video. So when I upload it to Instagram, it will keep as much quality as possible. Then I just click on export. Veed then begins to render my video with the best settings for Instagram. And once it's finished rendering, I can download it as an MP4 video, download it as a GIF. I can go through and edit the video again, or I can copy the link and share it with friends straight away. And that is how to resize video. If you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more video editing tutorials, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.